Our colleagues at MD Anderson, Katie Rizvani and EJ Spall, have developed uh, CAR NK cells where the chimeric antigen receptor is introduced and placed and expressed by, in and expressed by an NK cell. Um, and it's those cells that are used as the therapeutic and that's in contrast to CAR T cells where the T cells are what is the vehicle for the, and the effector with the, with the chimeric antigen receptor. So the difference is the cells that carry the chimeric antigen receptor um, and that has uh, implications in terms of um, function and potential toxicity. So the T cells when they become activated they make a lot of cytokines and patients become quite ill, uh, can become quite ill uh, as a side effect from the CAR T cell therapy. In contrast the CAR NK um, are cells that uh, so far we've seen are active, so in the phase one we're seeing activity, and we're not seeing quite as much cytokine release or the toxicities that we were seeing with the CAR T cell therapy. Um, and the CAR NK that we have been developing at Anderson with Katie and uh, EJ is from cord blood derived NK cells. So these are sort of a product that's produced in the laboratory and can be given to the patient and there's not a long production time and we don't have to ferise the patients to make their, their product. I think the CAR NKs um, are something that makes the product a little more um, applicable and available to patients broadly um, because it's sort of an off-the-shelf type product. We can make one and a CAR NK product and use it for a hundred different patients. Um, and that's in contrast to the CAR T's where you have to make patients own individual uh, product and use that. So um, we're still learning about it. We're still doing the phase one. We need to do the phase two trials with the CAR NKs uh, to see how active they are, how effective they are, how durable the remissions are, uh, etc. So it's in its very beginnings of clinical development and has some potential advantages associated with it, as I mentioned, the broad applicability across uh, patients and we'll see about the durability uh, of the remissions.